So when it comes to artificial intelligence, first of all, it's an umbrella term. It includes machine learning and deep learning and image recognition and facial detection and emotion detection, whether through your face or your voice or the words that you say, natural language processing, voice recognition, smart robots, chatbots, driverless cars, all kinds of things. But the thing is that in the medical space, where I see AI being really powerful is as an assistive tool to a trained physician or a trained surgeon. You know, there are a lot of things that AI can do, but it's only as good as the database that you feed it. And a lot of times as AIs are learning about new things, they make mistakes and they need reinforcement learning and they need people who are in the medical profession to actually supervise what's happening, you know, in terms of the outputs. So I can see a future where doctors will be using AI to literally help them digest thousands of conference proceedings on a particular issue, whether it be cancer or some other illness, distill it down to information that's relevant to a particular patient situation and then the doctor can use his or her best judgment on how to interpret that information. So it's a tool rather than a replacement and I think that's really the important message here is that AI is a brand new tool and including robots but it's not a replacement for a trained physician.